All uh, right, after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, saying it's an issue that the state should decide, uh, Louisiana became one of a number of states that outlaws abortion, with few exceptions. And I'll take this, and this is, this is such a topic that is discussed all over this country. It is very controversial. Um, after after uh, Roe v. Wade was overturned, uh, Louisiana became uh, one of the states that outlawed abortion, except for very few exceptions. Since then, a number of states, including some red states, have let the people, the voters, decide on abortion issues. Uh, most polls across the country, including the poll we did and one at LSU, say it's very important, and they think that the laws here are, are a bit too strict. Even uh, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, in that uh, recent GOP debate, said, can't we come to come some consensus on this? Uh, and because this is such a volatile and personal issue, and considering other states have let their voters decide the abortion issue, would you, if elected governor, ask the state legislature to put this issue on the ballot to let the people decide about the abortion issue instead of politicians? And this time we'll start with Stephen Waggis back. Thank you for the question, and you're right, it is a very emotional issue. I would not support a ballot initiative on such an important issue. I think it needs to be thoughtful. Um, and I would tell you I'm a pro-life candidate, and I'm a pro-life person. Part of that is driven by my faith. Part of that is driven by the experiences my wife and I have had. Our middle son is special needs. Her pregnancy for him was quite troublesome. And early on, we were advised that possibly termination should be the way to go. We refused. We didn't have a second's thought on that. To this day, he's an 18-year-old young man. He is the light of our lives. He has made my wife and I and my two other sons better people. And everyone he touches is a better person because of it. We gave him a chance at life. Every life has a chance to be special, no matter how daunting it appears on day one. And I'm committed to giving every life that chance to be special. Now, one thing we do have to do is be much better at caring for women, both during that pregnancy and after pregnancy, postpartum especially. There are things like hypertension and other issues we have to treat aggressively and be there for the mother, not just through pregnancy, but after pregnancy as well. Thank you very much. Mr. Lundy. There's two victims to every abortion. It's the fetus that's killed, and it's the mother who's lost the child. And it's almost as much grief to one, it's an intentional removal of a child and an unintentional. And I've seen it firsthand. And so I will, um, I agree with the legislature and the findings that they made. I support the fact that, uh, that they're pro-life and I'm pro-life. And um, I don't think it needs to be a ballot issue. The, s the state has spoken with the laws in place and I, and I stand on what they've done already and agree with them. Thank you. Mr. Wilson. Well, as a husband and a father, I've always trusted my wife and my daughter to make the decisions that's best for them. Uh, and so I don't object to having a, a ballot initiative to be able to allow the citizens to make these decisions, simply because our legislature has proven the fact that they are too extreme for Louisiana. Many of the residents across our state think we spend too much time talking about extreme issues that won't make us healthier. The reality is it's important to hear them and let them have a say-so in what's going to govern their lives. I will tell you, I'm the only candidate in this campaign that has supported exceptions and the fact that we have not had exceptions for rape or incest in the life of the mother, given the trigger laws that we have, are putting lives in jeopardy. It's simple as that. If we're going to be healthy or if we want to really talk about maternal uh, care and maternal mortality, we've got to absolutely give individuals a choice to have some uh, decisions on how to govern themselves. That should be decisions that they make with their doctor, their lord, and their spouses, and or individuals for their children. So I trust the individuals of this state. We have had too many constitutional amendments. We should have one for this one as well. Thank you. John Schroeder? Look, look, I, I fully support our legislature. This is probably one of the biggest issues that I've watched, one of those social kind of issues where the majority of the legislature has agreed. So I'm pro-life. I support the laws that are in place. Um, I've watched bipartisanship on this issue for years now. Uh, I see no reason to, to do that. This is the process we, we live by, and the people are represented by every legislator that they send, send to that building, both in the House and Senate. Um, look, I'm a uh, brand new foster granddaddy. Um, hi, Evelyn. And um, look, th there's, there's a lot of ways, a lot of things that we can prove on in this state, especially in a foster program, uh, adoption. There's a lot of things we can do to help facilitate, but I'm a, I'm, my wife and I, are, as pro-life as you're going to get, and 
Um, I support the laws in place, and I, and I commend the legislature because I believe this is one of those issues where they've worked pretty good on. And Sharon Hewitt? Thank you. I'm unapologetically pro-life. Um, when the Dobbs decision leaked, we were in legislative session two years ago, and we knew that every state was going to be in a, in a legal uh, climate after that. So I worked with others to make sure that we reviewed all of the laws on the books in Louisiana to make sure that we closed any loopholes and, and took care of any discrepancies in our laws to make sure that we could withstand any of the legal challenges. I also passed legislation that made it illegal for providers, for mail order people to send in uh, mail order prescription pills mm -hmm. for abortion. So not holding the mothers accountable, but, but, but the providers that are shipping it in illegally and trying to skirt the laws of Louisiana. This is a very pro-life state, and I do think the voters have input in that they elect the legislators. And as the treasurer said, I think the legislature has it right, and I support the laws as we have them on the books.